going to analyze uh, with the with the multimeter if uh, the galvanic isolator is good or not good. Uh, I mentioned before that uh, it's normal that uh, when you touch the galvanic isolator, it's a little warm. If this is an indication that it's working. Uh, there are uh, galvanic isolators that uh, you have a, a connection here to connect an LED in the dashboard, indicating that it's working. Uh, this one, no, but uh, there are other models with that LED, and uh, I love it that. Okay, <clears throat> number one. Uh, I am going, this one, the galvanic isolator, is connected to the green cable, you remember? The green cable coming from the outlet here, enter here, and after that continue into the ground boost bar of the boat. All right, I am going to remove this cable, the green cable, the green cable here, and uh, number one is, uh, is discharge, discharge the galvanic isolator with a piece of wire because internally have a capacitors, no? And the capacitor storage energy. Now I discharge, it's completely discharged, and I am going to check this element with the multimeter. Remember guys that uh, uh, one of the functions here is uh, diodes and the yellow one capacitors. Today we are going to learn about diodes. In diodes, we are going to move the display uh, to the function diodes the diode, the unit is in volts. Okay, and uh, we are going to check the galvanic isolator in both directions. Uh, in, we are going to check this one in this direction, and we are going to check how much is the voltage. The voltage start in zero, and normally goes up 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, and stay over there in between 0 0.9, maximum one volt. If the voltage continue increasing more than one volt, you need to remove your, your terminals and uh, that uh, galvanic isolator is damaged. Yeah? If when you connect uh, the voltmeter in, uh, in diodes, the voltage stays zero and no goes up, it's, it's, it's in short. All right? If when you connect this one, the reading is 0 0.4 and stay over there, no moving, one diode is broken internally. We are going to check what happened with this in one direction. Okay, now it start to goes up. How much is the voltage? Zero, zero, zero point? Zero point two, two zero point three. three, zero point four, zero point five. Help to me. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. 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 Thirty. And nine, stay four. over there. No move up. Zero, yeah. No. Six, stay nine. in zero point nine. Okay. In one direction is good. We are going to discharge again. Yeah. It discharge and we are going to check opposite. And once again, it start 0 0.1 and 9. And it stay over there, 0 0.93, 94, no more, no more than one volt. This is an indication that this element is, is good. Okay, no, the readings are crazy in both direction, it's damaged. Or it's zero and no moving, it's damaged. In your book, you have that display, that, uh, that uh, slide, where I explain how to, uh, to understand those readings. Check the book. All right, guys, this is the process to check the galvanic isolator. And this is the function of the galvanic isolator, is block the intrusion of bad currents. Block the intrusion of bad currents. Yeah, simple, no? Uh, what? The galvanic isolators are coming in uh, the capacity in amps. For example, this is good for boats with a 120, 240, single phase, double phase, uh, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, uh, with, a, with a breaker of uh, no more than 30 amps per phase, 30 amps per phase, okay? 
all right, if I have more than 30 amps in each phase, I need a bigger, bigger uh, galvanic isolator. It's not complicated, the decision to select the galvanic isolator. I recommend some boats, they have two outlets for, for short power, no, Captain? Uh, yes, two double, outlets. Yeah. I recommend one galvanic isolator per each outlet. Some people combine but outlets with the same. No, I prefer separated. You need to verify the condition of the galvanic isolator minimum once per year. Twice is better. Yeah? Some people say, no, one friend of mine said that uh, I check both sides with continuity. Pipi, no, pipi. No, no, it's not with continuity. It's not with ohms. It's with diodes. Diode. In the function, diodes and you see how the voltage grow from zero to 0 0.9, maximum one volt, in both directions, in the function diode. No continuity, no resistance, no nothing. It's diodes. Good? This is the galvanic isolator. Okay, and this is the only element used, used to prevent the intrusion of bad currents in your boat. Now we are going to analyze what is the meaning of this element? The isolator transformer. But uh, before we talk uh, about the isolator transformer, let me explain something about the different type of transformers. Uh, normally the transformer is a frame of iron. It's a frame of iron. Uh, the frame of iron is covered with uh, an isolator, plastic here and plastic here, and you, you introduce a coil of copper, no? This is the coil of copper that uh, I am going to introduce here. Remember that uh, in the coil, the beginning of the cable is the hot, and the end of the cable is the neutral. Yes or not? But it's the same. It's the same. But uh, the beginning is the hot and the output is the neutral. Suppose that I have that coil and here in the output, at the input, this is considered the primary and this is considered the secondary. And the separation in between coil and coil is pretty close. No, it's pretty close. The separation between one and the other one. If one coil is powered, the second one for induction will be powered. You remember? I explained. Because when the current is traveling from, through the cable, the current creates around the wire a magnetic field. And that magnetic field affects the next, the next coil. Is clear? Mm -hmm. I have in the primary coil, for example, 120 volts, 30 amps. That's OK? And I have in this coil 100 turns, 100 loops. In the second one, I have a 50, 50 turns. How much should be the voltage in the secondary coil? Yeah. Half, 60 volts. Yeah? The voltage goes? Goes? Down. Down. Ah, nice. What is the name of that transformer? A step down. A step down. A step down. What happens if I have here in the secondary one coil with 150 turns? How much should be the voltage here? 180. 180. And what is the name of that transformer? Step up. A step up. Nice, no? What happened, my friends, if If in both sides,
in both sides, the amount of, of our terms is the same. One hundred and one hundred. How much is the voltage here? The, the, the amount of, of uh, terms is the same. One hundred and one hundred. So it's the same voltage. It's the same. It's one twenty. And the amps, the same. So it's useless. <laughs> you put that in like a line that's very long? Yeah. Let me explain that. Why I need that transformer if the coils in both sides are the same? Pay attention. What happens if the signal here in the input is contaminated, like this? How is the signal in the output? Completely? Completely? Clean. Clean. Pay attention. It's like a mirror. Oh, okay. Pay attention. I have a mirror here. And I have other Lopez in the mirror. That Lopez have a problem with the eyes. Mm -hmm. That Lopez have problem with the heart, with diabetes. All of, mm -hmm. That Lopez is perfect. The Lopez of the mirror. This is the Lopez of the mirror. And this is the Lopez. Toho <laughs> you. You know? All right. What is the function of this transformer, isolator transformer? Clean the signal. Clean the signal. It's different like this. What is the function of this? Is this bad current? Block the intrusion of bad currents. With this, you don't block. You only clean the signal. You understand? Mm -hmm. You clean AC signals with the isolator transformer. With this, you block the intrusion of bad currents. Ah, for prevention of corrosion, what is the element that you need in your boat? This or this? For bad current? This one, yeah. this one, this one is used to prevent corrosion. What is the advantage in your boat if you have that clean signal inside of the boat. Pay attention. This is the element is mandatory, is necessary in hospitals, in, a, in, a, in universities. Can you imagine in a hospital, in the, in the surgery room, the doctor is doing a sophisticated surgery in the, in the brain of other guy, and uh, what happened if the signal coming in in the building is contaminated. You have erratic information in the robot. For that reason, in the hospitals, they have in each building one isolator transformer to clean the signal because all of those electronic devices, they need perfect signals, clean signals. That's clear, my friends? Mm -hmm. Why in your boat you need an isolator transformer? My boat is not a hospital, Mr. Lopez. But uh, in your boat, every day, you have more sophisticated electronic devices. And uh, you, you know what happens when you have noise interference in the signals? What happens in the main display of your boat? You have lines moving. You have, in, you have, you have, you have a lot of... Con static. Exactly, static. This is perfect to clean everything. That's okay? That's the function of the isolator transformer and the function of the galvanic isolator. They are completely different. That's okay? Ah, in other words, let me explain something additional. This is the frame. This is the frame. And this is the signal. This is the signal that is entering in the main breaker of the AC panel, no? This is the main breaker. And uh, here is connected to the ground. to the ground. Yeah, you see? This one is connected to the ground. The frame 
the frame, the frame of the galvanic isolator is connected to the ground. Clear, guys? That's the function of the galvanic 